Hey guys, Sean with the VM Media Group here. In this video is going to be unboxing of both the Google Pixel C and the keyboard for the Pixel C. This is the ordinary keyboard, not the keyboard folio, but we'll get more into that in a second. So here's the box for the Pixel C. We'll go over the box first, of course. The front of the box just has the signature Pixel branding that both the Chromebook Pixel and the Pixel C share. On the left and right sides of the box we have nothing, same with top and bottom except on the bottom. Uh, or I guess technically this is the top, it says Pixel C, as you can see there. On the back of the box, we just have, designed by Google, the Android logo, and of course the FCC information down there, and here we see Pixel C 32GB, and then we see that it is a 10.2 inch 2560 by 1800 Android tablet with USB Type-C, and of course Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Just remove the plastic there that covers the exterior of the box, then we have the box itself. Then we can go ahead and lift the lid. Then immediately right on top we are presented with the Google Pixel C. Go ahead and lift it like this, right out of the box, and set that off to the side. Inside here we have Let's Get Started. With more information on the back. This just shows general connected charger, turn on, find network, and log in or sign up. And under that we just have the charger, which is of course a permanently attached USB Type-C cable. Of course this is the United States variant. Of course it is a very high quality cable. Pixel C comes out just like that. <clears throat> Looks like this one is also most likely dead. And it seems like with the Pixel C they really don't ship with a lot of power. If that's okay, we'll set that off to the okay, side. So here's the Pixel C keyboard. The back of the box just shows how it works there. It easily attaches and detaches to Pixel C. Automatically turns on when attached and sleeps when closed. Full size keyboard that feels just like a laptop. Of course, this is also made of aluminum, so we'll go ahead and pull the tab. Right under that, we see the signature Google Pixel colors again. Go ahead and open it up. Pull the tab. And we are presented immediately with the keyboard. We can now lift this tab and the keyboard comes right out. Set that off to the side. Here we see tips and tricks for your Pixel C. On the back side it shows more of how to do it. You can pause the video if you like. Here we see Pixel Seaboard additional notices. Just some paperwork. There's nothing else in the box. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Pixel C keyboard. Okay, so here's the Pixel C keyboard. It feels pretty nice from initial impression. Of course, I'll have to actually use it for a little bit. The actual structure feels very similar to that of the Pixel C. We'll go ahead and just attach it and lift it, and there's the Pixel C. Of course, this Pixel C that I just opened does not have any battery, unfortunately. So we will have to just put that off to the side and use a different Pixel C. So this Pixel C does have battery. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled. And now we'll just go ahead and pair it. It says, couldn't pair with Pixel C keyboard because of something. There we go. I don't know what the error was at first, probably something N related. If we look here, we see pair with Pixel C keyboard. And I have to type in this code here, so we see 213363. Alright, so now the keyboard should be paired. Now we can go ahead and type. Okay, so here we have it. We'll go ahead and just open up a Google Doc. We'll just open a new one. And we'll just start typing.
it looks like it'll take some getting used to with some of these keys being shrunken down on the sides. So if Google Keyboard is your primary keyboard and you push the three dot menu, you'll be presented with all of your symbols here. And you can use these up, of course, to do, you know, all the symbols that are not already on the keyboard. If you use a third party keyboard like Swift Key like I do, it looks like you do not have that. However, um, you do still have your autocorrect down here. It works pretty well, and it's great for messaging. Of course you can also remove the keyboard like that, and just mount it onto the back for carrying it around while you use it as a tablet. Okay, so then to actually charge the keyboard, we just put the light bar to the space bar. Now the keyboard should be wirelessly charging. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.